Okay, I'm back with uh, the second, or part two, of our Spooky Lantern project. I've already applied my score tape on the pieces that have the three tabs. You want a score tape or you're going to glue these side pieces and the bottom edge. And on these that have just the bottom edge, you want to put your score tape there. On the bottom, it doesn't really matter where you place your score tape. You can put it in the middle, close to the edge, whatever. On the sides, I place that as close to the edge as I could get it. So, let's see. We'll start with these two. Let me get these out of the way. I'm going to pull my tape off. And I'm going to apply this so that the bottom's facing, this bottom tab is facing me. Scoot these towards the very edge and apply it there. You just want to make sure it's even up here at the top. And you might want to give it a little bend, but just get it in there snug. Same thing on this side. Peel the tape off and take this other side piece with the bottom down facing the others and I'm going to lay it in there and if you start with your point up here and then just kind of push it in it's easier to get it in there in the right spot there we go and again you might want to give it a little a little bend there Okay, before you connect these, you want to put your um, acrylic inserts in. <clears throat> so, you want to take, you can tell which side is sanded and which side isn't. And you want to take the side that isn't sanded and add score tape along the two longest edges. Actually, around all four edges attached to these sections. So you've got four pieces of acetate and four sections. And you really are going to, I don't think glue will hold this. I would recommend the double-sided tape. Whatever kind you have, that's what I would use on this to hold it. Okay, so I'm just going to start with this one. We're going to place this right here. They should fit right inside all of those folds. Give it a good burnish so it's secured well. And so that's how it will look when you're done. So you just do that all the way around, and then you'll come back and attach these right here. So I'm gonna okay, now I've got all my um, acetate pieces in, so I'm going to take the piece of tape off of this side here. And now I'm going to connect this to this piece. Push these end pieces up. There we go. Now I want to pull the tape off of those, so I have to do it this way. Because we have a piece, a bottom piece that's going to go there inside as well as on the outside. So you want to push these, yeah, I got it off. And these overlap just a tiny bit, but that's okay. So you want to push it flat. Then you have one of these pieces with a circle cut out, and it's going to fit down inside. 
and you just want to kind of start at one spot and let it fall and it should fall right in line and then press the edges down inside so you've got a good secure hold then you want to turn it over take these pieces off Okay, and then here is this other piece. Again, the circle should match up. And just add that piece. You can do this with your fingers or turn it over again and press them down just so that they're good and secure. So that gives you a fairly stable lantern. And this piece will be sitting on top of your base and to attach that, all you do is you can either glue or add score tape around here and then press it down on the base. I think I'll just go ahead and use glue for this part. Actually, might not want to attach that yet. Let's stop here because I have the pieces that will go on the lantern and I need to figure out how I'm going to do that first. I may come back in part three and tell you to go ahead and attach this but let's wait and see. And also um, this has a piece that goes on here and it will have shutters on it but if you wanted to go ahead and use this same paper and cover this area or cover it with something else you could. I'm going to use the silver um, uh, shimmer paper for the um, the window frame and hey stop that the window frame and the shutters no go lay down um, so I think that's gonna be really pretty with it and it goes well with that so um, that's it for part two. We'll come back with part three in a few minutes. Thanks for hanging in there with me, guys.